Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will question the dignity of Muhammad. If this man can be trusted even to visit you at home. But first, you know, we need to listen to the point of view of Muslims and look how they view things. And after that, we will make our comment. This is uh, Islam Online and this is their audio. So, of course, we pick up on that uh, point to begin today's program, and uh, perhaps I could ask you to uh, comment and give us the specific reference uh, to this evidence in the uh, Quran. The most manifest evidence appeared in Surah number 33, in passage 37, which clearly says, uh, just to pick the part that relates to your question, فَلَمَّا قَضَى زَيْدٌ مِنْهَا عَطَرًا زَوَجْنَاكَهَا which means when Zayd, that's the former husband, dissolved his marriage with her, we joined her in marriage to you. The speaker says in that case is God himself. Yes. Allah speaks and he says we, God, joined uh, her in marriage to you. It could have said when Zayd dissolved his marriage, you married her. And there's a big difference. Uh, so that means that it was a command uh, to the Prophet, not something out of his own choice and not something based on his own desire to marry her. So according to Muslims, when Muhammad he did marry Zainab, the, 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 the wife of his own son, uh, it was an order from Allah. The poor Muhammad, he had no choice in his life. Allah wants him to have sex with this woman. Why? We don't have an idea. If we ask Muslims, why Allah is ordering Muhammad to marry her? Let us see. No one does actually, uh, Zainab used to boast on other rights of the Prophet by saying that you people were married here, but it was God who commanded the Prophet to marry me. Yeah. Here I was speaking about the privilege she had. Uh, so that seems to um, confirm what was indicated in the previous program, that the marriage of the Prophet from Zainab was intended for the establishment in a practical way of a new legislative rule that the adopted son is not to be exactly the same as the natural son in the matters of uh, marrying their divorcees. Oh, so Muhammad by marrying the wife of his own adopted son, he is telling you Islam don't approve adoption no more. And actually the fact that Quran mentioned in many places that adoption is not longer approved. So that you do not need to have sex with, a, with someone to prove a point. The Quran mentioned many times that adoption is forbidden in Islam. Do I, do I need to make a, a crime to tell you that killing is not allowed? Do I need to have sex with your daughter to tell you that you know, my God allowed me to do so? If the God says so, that's it. People, they listen to it. The God of Islam says, don't do this. People do it. They follow the order of Allah. You do not need to practice it to teach them. If the order did come, people will follow. This is God ordering. So this is will prove to us a point. And actually, we don't do what the Muslims do when they explain a verse from the Quran. I will never explain a verse. I will go to the Islamic websites, and I'm using website now because you guys first you don't, you know, we cannot share the same document in a book. You know, I can open the book and show you, but it doesn't work for in, 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 uh, in the screen uh, taping. Uh, this is the verse, chapter 33, verse number 37. Muhammad, when he did marry this woman, he did not marry her actually, he just took her from her husband. Because the Quran saying it clearly, Allah supposedly, who the one who made the Quran supposedly is Allah, saying to Muhammad, he was manifest of your love for her. So Muhammad is in love, he's in love with married women. Look, but you had hiding in your heart what God was disclosed and what he was manifest of your love to her. So the God is talking to Muhammad, why you are hiding in your heart your love to uh, Zainab? And Zainab at that time she was married she wasn't single and we remember guys from the Bible 
that Jesus, he said, if, the, if a man, he wished to, to have a woman, she is not his. He committed adultery. This man is an adulterer. A woman and she is married. And you are in love with her and you have a sexual desire with her and even your God, Allah himself, he worked for your benefit to have her in your bed. Listen to this. That should Zayd part with her, you would marry her. And you feared people who would say, would say, he married his own son's wife. So Muhammad, he knew that people would say he did a shame because it was a shame in his time. Nobody at his time do such a thing. As always, Muhammad, he do things for the first time. Nobody have sex with six years old girl except Muhammad at that time. Nobody had it marry his own son adopted wife except Muhammad. So Muhammad, because he have no limitation and the God Allah, he worked for his benefit. This is why the wife of Muhammad, Aisha, she said, Inni Allah yusari'u ila hawaka ya Muhammad. I see your God Allah, he work for your desire Muhammad. Whatever Muhammad have a desire, Allah will send a surah down, especially if it's about sex. Now we will go and we will read and we will show everyone how bad is this man who call himself Muhammad. From where? From Islamic reference and proofs. We don't do the same as Muslims. They explain things the way they like. Absolutely not. Let us see. Hello everyone. Peace of Christ to all. Uh, we will try to make it fast because we don't have much time left. This is the official website of Saudi Arabia and this is the book of Al-Qurtubi as you see in the front of your eyes and we will show you how Muhammad he have a sexual desire for a married woman. The Muslims they say Allah he ordered him to marry her. Allah ordered him to marry her. So the poor Muhammad he have no choice it's Allah order. If we ask ourselves why as you heard because Allah want to teach people that you know what it's okay to marry your own son a, a, a wife from adoption because already adoption is forbidden in Islam which is very false you don't have to have sex with everyone to tell him that this is a rule if Allah said no forbidden you know it's forbidden to have adoption that's it forbidden to have adoption you don't have to go and screw the wife of, the, of someone to prove to the Muslims that you know what Islam forbid adoption excuse my language but this is how it is now in here, in reading the hadith, and reading the explanation, we will see what Muhammad planned for, for, for this man. According to the, to, the, to the explanation, first, in here we will see that the Prophet of Islam, he have a desire for that woman, and he have a sexual desire for that woman when she was married. If you read in here, it says, فَذَهَبَ قُطَادَ وَابْنُ زَيْدُ وَجَمَاعَ مِنَ الْمُفَسِّرِينَ Qutada and Ibn Zayd and many of the Mufassirin which mean the, who explain the Quran and one of them is At-Tabari and etc. that the Prophet he he was in love with Zainab he like her he love her when she was married to Zayd imagine he have a sexual desire for a woman she is married and she is married to who? to his own son now Muslims, they will say to you, you know what, adoption in Islam is forbidden and he will not be considered as his own son. Fine, no problem. How a prophet of God have sexual desire to a married woman? Jesus said that the one who wished to have a woman, she is not his, he committed adultery. This is a man is not only wishing to have a woman, she is not his, she is a married woman. She is a wife of someone else. And who is that? His own son by adoption. وَكَانَ حَرِيصًا عَلَىٰ أَنْ يُطَلِّقَهَا زَيْدٍ And he was trying to be so sure, he insist that Zayd, he would divorce her, so he will marry her. فَيَتَزَوَّجَهَا هُوَ Look how evil this man is. He have a plan. He liked her when she was married. He loved her. He have a sexual desire for her. And he was insisting, trying hard to make this man divorce his wife. That's what it says in Arabic. وَكَانَ حَرِيصًا عَلَىٰ أَنْ يُطَلِّقَهَا زَيْدٍ And he was so insisting that Zayd should divorce her so he will marry her. And I change any Muslim to say what I'm translating is not correct. 
and actually we can take the 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 uh, 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 the text and take it to Google Translation. We we'll take the translation, the text in Arabic, and we will click at translate, and we will take it to Google Translation, and you will see that the Prophet he was insisting to have this woman Zainab went to Jahsh, which means Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. He was keen to marry that woman. He was insisting, trying hard, working hard for that plan. Not much time left. I will make another video to complete this one. So as you see, he have a sexual desire for a married woman, and she is still married for his own son by adoption, and this man, he have no shame. Follow with me with the coming video, and I will show you a very stupid thing it says in there.